Hello again, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the pheromonal system of mice and how this pheromonal system kind of relates to the idea of the labeled line system, which varies from the combinatorial system that I mentioned in a previous video. So just to talk about the pheromonal system, the first thing we could do is look at this picture. So we see that the um, olfactory receptor neurons can eventually go to or eventually connect to the main olfactory bulb, which is kind of where the combinatorial system comes into play, where there are um, multiple uh, glomeruli that um, are um, connected to these um, varying amounts of uh, olfactory receptors. But the combinatorial code allows for um, many receptors to be activated by, you know, a single um, odor. Now, if we look at the accessory olfactory bulb, this is the key of specificity to where the um, pheromonal system kind of plays. So, the with this, the, um, the uh, at the accessory olfactory bulb, we have something called the labeled line system. And what this labeled line system kind of is, is that each receptor only responds to one chemical. So there's no combination that we would find in the combinatorial code. And by having one-to-one -one ratio with this receptor and um, chemical or odorant, this retains the specificity of the odor. So we see that with this specificity, it's more of an innate thing where it's not something that can be learned. So some of the things that can um, go, or some of the odorants that um, allow for this pheromonal system to um, happen it, are something like, you know, predator urine, where it's kind of an innate reaction for, let's say, a gazelle to sense that there is a lion via its urine. And if it senses the lion via the urine, then the it will repel the uh, gazelle from going in that area to essentially not die. There's also um, mate recognition that could be done. There's a lot of sexual um, stages that um, allow that, that are allowed via this pheromonal system. So as seen, the pheromonal system is more of a specific thing that allows for more of innate stuff like predator, like detection of predators or um, detection of mates. Now, if we just kind of compare the uh, differences between the pheromonal system and the uh, combinatorial system a little bit further, so we see that with the um, pheromonal system, this is more um, concentrated in these um, what are known as lateral horns and it goes to the labeled line system. And it also has to deal with you know, the amygdala, where um, there's a specialized odorant for innate behaviors, which are known as pheromones. Um, and what is key here is the neurons come prefer preferentially um, from the dorsal olfactory bulb. Now, just with the combinatorial code, it's more of a general thing where it's, you know, it's more of a learn process. It's more of um, an unbiased, unbiased um, processing thing where there's multiple odorants that can be um, um, active are uh, can activate multiple receptors and be combined, and this this can kind of lead to an olfactory learning, and with the combinatorial code, and this is kind of what we see with the what we learned previously about the projection neurons and the Kenyan bodies creating kind of a matrices of um, um, different combinations, kind of in in alignment with um, different receptors being activated, and this is in what we're, what are known as, known as uh, mushroom bodies versus the lateral horn being with the pheromonal system, and overall with these mushroom bodies, this is in a complex known as the piriform com uh, cortex. So this is just a brief overview of the pheromonal system uh, within mice and the differences between that, the uh, pheromonal system being um, with the labeled line system and that of the combinatorial code. Thank you.